that one, ladies and gentlemen. The belly. What's up guys, welcome back. Come to you guys from underneath the boat cover. I was doing a little uh, rod prep, tackle prep, stuff like that. And I want—I figured I'd bring you guys a video, right? Um, you know, you guys have read the title. Uh, I first off wanna say, you know, I, I'm not a huge fan of drama in the industry. Um, I really, really hate it. it. It just makes the industry more toxic and, and honestly worse. Um, what I do uh, like to do is, you know, talk about ethics, talk about, hey, maybe we should be doing this uh, rather than that uh, because of, you know, the future generations that watch videos like this or or watch what's going on um, within the fishing industry. Um, so especially with the whole new age of uh, social media and things, it, you know, young kids are very impressionable um, and they're going to be running a lot of these companies in the future um, and, and coming up with you know, new innovation in the finishing industry. So, um, ethics is really important in my eyes. Um, and, and more specifically, you know, we're talking about a very specific situation that happened to ICAST this year down in Florida. Um, you know, a pretty much to a T copy of a bait. Um, you know, and this company, um, has been doing it for a long time, uh, but it doesn't make it right. And I think the more voices that come out and talk about this, uh, the ethics aspect of it, um, maybe it'll change it. Maybe, I, I don't know, but, um, I wanted to bring my opinion to you guys and talk about some things, um, you know, with, with this whole situation. And what we're talking about here is this bait specifically. This is, um, the Grow Designs flag. Uh, it's a soft plastic glide bait. Um, it is made by Grow Designs, like I said, in Japan. It's a very, innovative company and there's a few companies within our industry that are actually innovative and making things um you know making huge leaps forward for fishing right um a lot of pretty much everybody else is just copying those companies which is really frustrating um and that's really why i want to bring this video forward is maybe maybe we'll see more innovation in the future uh, but what happened guys for anybody who doesn't know by now because it's all over um Berkeley, they came out with an exact copy pretty much of the flag. Um, they changed up the sizes a little bit, uh, but with that being said, it still has that mesh joint in the middle, um, just like Grow Designs. Um, they made it uh, pretty much very similar material. I don't have my hands on them yet, but I will get my hands on them so I, I can compare. Um, I'm sure there's already going to be a few, a, a definitely a bunch of things going on with this, but. Um, you know, it, it's way too similar, guys. You know, it's way too, um, to a T, a copy of this bait right here. And I, I found, you know, I found this bait from a guy um, I follow on Instagram down in uh, Arizona. He was showing it 2015, 2017 or something like that. Um, and I saw him throwing it and I was like, wow, that thing looks cool. Um, I, I need to pick some up and try them. And, you know, they're not easy to get. I had to get mine on eBay at first. Um, and then I was finally able to order them and get on the drops on Grow Designs website and stuff. Um, but you know, when I first saw these in the water, I was like, wow, dude, these things are awesome. They have a tremendous action. Um, and the first thing I thought about was summertime fishing, uh, you know, getting some of those, those suspended post-spawn big female bass to eat. Um, because everybody knows they really like a glide bait in the summer. But sometimes they'll just kind of hit it sideways. They'll kind of do a lot of weird things with it. This thing's so soft and has such an erratic action. When they eat it, they just engulf it. And it's gone. No issues with hooking them. Um, and the design of it, yeah, does it have a few tweaks and flaws? Any bait does. Um, but it was very, you know, a game changer within the, this, the swim bait industry, right? Um, 
And for a company like Berkeley, who has a lot of money in the fishing industry, to come out with a copy, uh, to a T copy pretty much, um, and then not only do that, but not not give any credit to the company that actually came up with the design, one, and two, price gap the hell out of it. That's the biggest thing that bothers me is that I don't know what's going to happen with Grow Designs as a company. Um, I don't know how what their you know what their situation is, um, but what I do know is that when these doll when these baits are are more expensive, um, but they're the original design, and then they price cap it almost to like an eighty percent price difference, um, that that doesn't sit right with me. Uh, so Berkeley's is obviously cheaper. They can make it for cheaper. They have all that the ability to do so. Um, so therefore they can charge way less for these baits and that it doesn't sit right with me. And it's an ethical problem within the, the industry. Um, you know, the copy part of it, yes, that's not, that's wrong. Um, but you pretty much are trying to ruin a company, uh, by, by doing that. Right. Um, thankfully, like I said, I think, I think grow designs is going to be okay. Um, because they have a couple different ideas um you know that they're putting out there and talking about um that they've been kind of r and in for a while uh you know that they just released another one called the g flag uh, which i have uh, somewhere i just didn't grab it for this video um that thing's really cool too it's more of a bluegill bait fish uh or like bull carp uh, profile and that thing it gets bit guys so the main thing i wanted to drop this video for is to raise awareness of this bait you know the the flag Grow Designs flag, not even talk about that stupid bait that Berkeley dropped. And I'm asking guys to, to support the original designers. Um, you know, it's like if you support the original designers, you are going to see more innovative products in the future. If you support Berkeley, yeah, you're going to save a buck, but you're gonna just going to get copies of everybody else. And eventually, Berkeley's going to run all these other companies out, out of business, and therefore you will not get any more innovation like this, guys. That's why I'm talking about this video. That's why I'm talking about this in this video. And I'm not trying to cause drama. I really, like I said, I don't like drama. I'm just trying to express what's going to happen if people continue to support Berkeley and what they're doing with this. It's not, it hasn't, it's not just this, you know. Um, it's knocking off the freaking chatterbait with the slobber knocker or whatever the hell they call it. Knocking off pretty much live targets frog with the bulbous sized frog and copying the exact shape of it and calling it the whatever swamp donkey or whatever the hell they call it. Um, and then the worst one that happened, I don't know how many years ago was, uh, you know, a guy locally here, he makes the trash fish. Well, they dropped what they call the sick fish, not the same material. Thank God it's absolute garbage compared to the trash fish. Um, but still it, it was kind of that first step towards just completely, utterly copying something because of the hype and because of how well it was designed and not even putting any effort into designing their own products and then yet winning awards because of it. So, um, like I said, if you guys get anything from this video, I'm going to throw their website, um, in the, in the description, um, their Instagram, all that stuff. I'm going to put as much stuff as I can out there on this website or on their company because um, I want you guys to support uh, Grow Designs. I don't want you to go over to Berkeley and buy the $12 one. I would rather you guys go and try to get your hands on these ones, right? Um, yes, I, I get they're hard to get your hands on. Just bear with it. You know, bear with the company. They're, they're you know, the best baits are kind of hard to get your hands on. It's part of it. Um, just be patient with it and support that company because what, like I said, what you will see is future products better than this from a company that is already innovative. Um, and you need to support that. So anyways, guys, that's about it. Enough on the rant. I will catch you guys on the next video. See ya.